guys, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are you? Um, today I'm going to be revisiting some swipes I did around Christmas time uh, when my husband and I were looking at vacation plans for summer 2021 of going to Hawaii or Iceland or somewhere where there's water. And I did a couple little um, paintings. These are going to go up in my uh, Waterfall Acrylics website today for sale. I did a couple of these little rounds um, in various shades of blue and paints gray. There was one and then I had posted them I think on social media and there's the other little guy and I'm like oh I'm so in love with those colors and uh, missing the beach so much that I'm using all blues today and going to swipe the blues in not a wave like people do, like a big wave, but just something wavy. <laughs> so I'm gonna do some wavy things and uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna try a little experiment into a white on white, just because uh, I'm dying to curiosity. So I'm gonna put down uh, a little puddle of my house paint like this so and then this is my Amsterdam titanium white mixed with my Australian flow troll as usual colors brands recipe will be at the end of the video up on the screen and what I've done is this is about one part paint to about three and a half parts of Australian flow troll and then I thought it'd be fun to give it a little bit of sparkle so I added an eighth of a teaspoon of Color Art uh, Bling It pigment called Abalone, which is just a sparkly white, just, you know, for a little bit of dazzle. And I'm just gonna pour a little of my white, you're not gonna be able to see it, on my tarp. And I'm gonna stick my palette knife in it and swipe it and see if we get white cells and lacing and see what happens because this white is a different shade than the house paint white so i'm dipping i'm dipping and dippity do dipping and we're just gonna go and just make a little pattern there's blue in there where did that come from let's cover it up why are there specks of blue I must have like a little bit of blue powder on my tarp from my, um, for the next pour. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Can I stick my finger in there? I see it. I'm going to stretch it out, but first I'm going to like try to get out those little tiny specks of blue before I stretch and make it bigger. <laughs> I'm not real sure. This is a good idea to film because I don't know if you guys can see or not. I'm going to, maybe I'll just spin this uh, and see. There's another little speck of blue. And I'll hold it up close so you guys can see. What is that? I'm having all kinds of problems. What is that? because uh, I was at the bottom of my house paint. Oh, good grief. I'm going to go again. And let me... Let's do it this way. So here's my palette knife. And let's just do this. So I make sure I don't get anything on this. And we'll, oh my goodness gracious. Hold on. I forgot to wipe it clean. That's not, that's house paint on there. <clears throat> I'm not off to a very good start, am I? Not at all. All right, do over. Call in a mulligan. So let's just put some of this on it like this. So we make sure we don't have anything in that white. Okay. 
All right, take two. All right, got a nice little pattern there. Let me scrape off my palette knife. Let that come up. I think I'm gonna do it again in this one spot. I have like a little wave going. <laughs> we'll see if I post this segment because uh, I'm not so sure you guys can see what's going on. I'm loading up my knife again. Not as much paint this time. Just something like this. Just so I can swipe through here. There we go. I like that. Give that a second to sew up. Let me hold it up. See if you guys can see it. I'll have to play this back. Does it show up? Maybe it does up close. <laughs> I forgot to put down wet paint. Oh my gosh. I'm going to post this and just call it the blooper reel. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a, uh, I'm pouring in the morning and you guys know I'm a late night. I'm a late night person, night owl totally. So maybe that's my problem. <laughs> so I'm not awake yet. Uh, let me, let me push it down now. There should be paint. There and give this another spin. Okay, it works, but I don't know. I think it's rather boring. Let me hold it up. I'm not keeping this, but I wanted you guys to see. I mean, maybe if you put a glaze over it when it's dry, because you can take the, um, the color art pigments and use them as a glaze and glaze it over and bring out the color because it would probably turn into two different shades because you got two different types of paint on here. But that's what it does. Can you guys see that? It's very, very subtle to say the least. So I'm not keeping that. I'm gonna leave that there and use that paint <clears throat> and can continue on with my my blues that I'm in the mood for. So bye bye, little white on white action. And let's just do, let's start off with, this is Golden's Payne's Gray mixed with some primary elements pigment in Payne's Gray just for a little bit of sparkle. I'm just going to do that. And then we'll do, this is a primary element pigment from their new, uh, putting on the glitz line called Bellagio Blue. I think I used this during the live. So there's Bellagio. And let's do some teal. End it with some phyllo turquoise. Like that. Wipe off my knife. All right. I'm making myself a clean puddle. All right, clean puddle. Nope, not clean. 
still has a little bit of blue. I'm loading my palette knife with the white. And let's just smear this around. Something like that. Give that a second. I can still see the white lacing from underneath. Oh, I love the colors. Oh my gosh. Love, love, love the colors. Now this isn't something I don't normally do um, with the Shelly Art recipe. And that is torch because you can, you can uh, mess up the house paint really quick. But I am gonna go ahead and give a little torch right in that one area, just to see. Just like that, very quick, before the heat, you know, before it has a chance to fry the paint or anything, just to pop those bubbles and get some more cells right there. That's looking pretty good. Let me stare at this. So I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit. I want to spin it, maybe a little baby spin. Let me see what that looks like. A little more. Oh my gosh. Love it. Ta-da! Okay, and the funnest thing of all that I'll show you when we get down close after we're all done is this little part right here where, where it goes like this is actually continues in a perfect little s shape and those cells are the leftover clear ones and there's like five perfectly shaped white on white cells right there that looks amazing like i couldn't do that again in a million years that this is a winner for me i'm going to say ta-da and uh put him to the side and what do i have today i have one more little one and then i have a 12 by 12. hold on Oh, good grief, guys. I just, I'm having a morning. I just dropped my palette knife. I was trying to use it to scoop it up. And I know better, because I have a big old, I have a big old uh, flipper. So uh, I'll either cut this out of the video or just leave all the bloopers in. I don't know. Um, wow, shoot. Not very professional today, am I? Welcome to the world of paint pouring, where some days it makes you want to just say, screw it, and pick up a paintbrush. <sighs> All right, that made me grumpy, not gonna lie. Now I'm grumpy. Let's see if we can recover. I'd like that one too. Let's see if we can do it again. Here we go. Get your act together, Karen. I got all quiet. <laughs> Cause I was mad. Yeah, like I just totally shut up there for a second, didn't I? <laughs> oh, okay. And then a line of the turquoise. Let's start at the other end. Go this way.
Make some curly cues. What the hell? All right. I really had an urge to uh, say a bunch of swear words. Like, oh, for F's sake. That's what I really wanted to say. Uh, I'm putting my white on, on my uh, palette knife. Tilting it around, making the shorts on the edges. We'll cover the whole thing this time. There we go. second to collect I'm going to spoon on I don't need the paint um, I just don't like this one line I have plenty of paint on this canvas I don't know if I like the composition of this one as much we'll see I have my uh, clear cells again I love how silent my new cake spinner is. Let's put a spoonful of white, just a little bit, my little silicone spoon right there. Let me stare at this one for a second. Well, I have to spin off a little bit of that white. There we go. Those colors just won't be denied, y'all. I am tempted to spoon white, like I can make it a true S, like right here, do I dare, and get rid of that sparkle blue and just have it be like this and just go Let me play with the uh, composition for a second with my finger. More finger painting. I like that. And then I'm just going to drizzle. I'm going to use a tiny spoon. I'm going to get a tiny, tiny spoon. And scoop up some White House paint with my little teaspoon here. And just fill in that gap. It's a very thin line. What do we think? Yep, that's that's killer. That's killer, that's a keeper for me. All right, let's move on to the big one. Put him next to his sister. Okay, a lot of you are gonna shoot me. Um, this is kinda little, let me drop you guys down a little bit. I put this one back up because I'm not happy with it. I love this and where I torched it, it makes like different kinds of cells from this and I don't like it with the two different kinds on one painting. I just don't like it. I've been trying to like it because it's, you know, sitting off to the side and I just don't. So don't be mad at me, but I'm going to scrape this and we're going to redo it and then we'll go to 12 by 12. I'm just going to call this video the blooper video. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, what are you going to do? I mean, it's just, it's a nice little, um, gessoed cradle panel. You know what I mean? Like it's a nice piece of substrate. So I want a nice painting on it. And that just, it just bothered me way too much. So don't shoot me. My 
might change up the order. I'm going to start with the, um, the turquoise. I'm just going to do it like that. And then do Mr. Bellagio Blue. Turquoise, and then the paint's gray. Okay. Let's try this again. No torching. Putting my white on my palette knife. Spreading it around. Yep, I just like the, uh, I think I just prefer the uniform look for sure. I am going to a teaspoon the white on this corner, just a little bit there and there, and I think I'm going to tilt this one. All right. I see, make sure I stay in frame, right? I am gonna take this one part off. I'm gonna come off this one corner. And then swing it to the other corner to keep that S shape. Kinda of like that. I need to take off some paint. And I need this paint here in this one corner to come off. Oh, don't be a wimp, Karen. There we go. Oh, that is a cool wave. This part is making it. I don't mind if I lose the negative space you know, they're basically white bikini corners, really. Um, as long as I have the movement here. Um, one more spin. It doesn't have to come all the way off, but it, there's like a blob of white paint right there. I suppose I could scrape it. Um, but I do need coverage on my sides on this one, so I want the paint to like run over and leave the lacing. And I just love the movement of this guy. That was a good call, I think, to scrape it. I do think that was a good call. And like, how much of a blob are you? Yeah, you're like a blob of white paint. Go away. Or can I put some on it? Or will you look stupid? I'll put white if it looks stupid. Or I'll smush a bunch of paint on there so that when I spin it, it flies off. That's what I'll do. Yeah, because that looks stupid. Where's my little teaspoon? Or half a teaspoon. To put the white back, and then we'll give that a spin. Or maybe I just put white on both corners and leave it. I told you guys, I am so not a morning person. I was just, um, when I was in between takes uh, and staring at this one before I scraped it, 
I was thinking of Rinska Donna and how chipper she is in the mornings on her channel. And she's always like, good morning, everybody. <laughs> like, I would be like, I'm so, she and I are just total opposites. We've talked about it before and have messaged each other. And it'll be like, you know, 8 a.m. her time in, in the Netherlands. <laughs> and I'll still be up from the night before. And we both just laugh. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm definitely better at night. I'm saying, ta-da, I like this very, very much. Let me put him to the side and we'll get the big one down for reals this time. Okay, I got my 12 by 12 gallery wrap canvas. Spins in here perfectly. One more, let's do a big one. Let the painting gods be with me. <laughs> That's good. I'm gonna do that for now. And I guess I kind of like that order. So let me do that same order and start with the cobalt turquoise. Again, I'm kind of running out of paint from all the uh, all the do-overs. Yep, definitely stick sticking to nighttime pouring. Me in the mornings, we just don't get along. Um, it's a Monday, and my daughter is still, uh, you know, it's all online learning. And Mondays are her asynchronous days. So we got up, um, I usually get up with her, and on Mondays, she just has to be logged in by um, 10. So we were up at 8.30, which for me is early. And um, helped her do her work. And then I was like, now what do I do? So I decided to paint. and help her read and other fun school activities. But this will be the last morning painting you see from me. Kind of grooving on the teal color today, so putting a little more in. I'm gonna switch to my bigger palette knife too. What am I missing? The uh, top it all off with the pain's gray. Not so much though. That's good enough. I'm gonna use my bigger. Um, palette knife, my freestyle palette knife from Liquitex. And I'll load this up with the rest of my cell activator. I tell you what, I'm not trying not to jinx myself, but like if I screw this up, I'm killing off all of my. Um, white cell activator. If I screw this up and have to go again and make up more cell activator, I'm going to switch it to purple. All right. Let's hope, let's hope we don't, that doesn't come to that. I'm just going to lay this on here and I'm basically just smearing. It's just gonna die off, right? Like, I'm just gonna keep taking that while it's selling up all the way around. That's what the back of my knife looks like when, it, when I run out of white. All right, I'm not gonna add, um, I got my white cells again. That's just so amusing to me. I'm not gonna add paint. I'm gonna spin this first and then add paint as I need it. Um, we bought a dehumidifier because our house is so dry 
and even with my um, art covered in, in boxes and tarps, I'm still having uh, minor cracking problems. So I wanna minimize how much paint I'm using. We got like a split wave going. And that's all those white cells. I don't like this, obviously. So let's operate right there. I wonder if I could just push it over, boss it around a little. You know, I don't mind the line. I just didn't like how it fanned out. So I'm just gonna boss it around and drag it down. Let me take some of that off there. And she kind of broke up. And that should spread out. So, um, I need some paint up here, I think. I'm gonna give it another spin first to see. I love these white cells here. My negative space, my line held firm there. I need a little paint. That's bare canvas here. Oops, let me put it this way. So it's bare right here, and this is bare. And I don't think I, I don't know if I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna see if I can get there with the paint I have. I'm just gonna add something to the spot here because it's uh, misbehaving. It's being naughty. Let me do this in here. And push that up in there. And I'm gonna spin and see if I can get the paint to roll off. If not, I'll add a little more. Like I said, I'm trying to make this super thin. I like to see this part of the wave or whatever come up a little bit. Um, Let's see what it does. I'm gonna let it spin for a second. That should be good enough. That part got almost to where I needed to go. I'm gonna have to add paint here because I, I have to consider the sides. So let me do that. Um, I think one more spin and we're good. I'm, I'm loving it. I really, really love it. So I'm just gonna drizzle some white along here. And now we'll have a nice clean canvas on the side with the white paint there. And there. Last little spin. And uh, this is a keeper for me, y'all. Just gonna let it go. All right. Ah, oh, see, I got to my, this ends perfectly. Let me stare. See how I like the orientation my way, which is, this is how I like it. It's upside down um, for you guys. Ta-da, for sure. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Um, let me stare at the other two. I'm happy with all three now. Took me a minute to get there. <laughs> I'm blaming it on the morning, I am. Let me uh, clean up and get you guys down. All right, close up view of these guys. I'm super happy with them. They were just good for my soul today. Um, <laughs> these colors are not conveying. There is a big swath of, let me see if I come closer if it shows up. You can see the sparkle, but this is teal and it looks gray. I just hate my phone sometimes. 
that that is not showing up true to color. Although there is some of the sparkle. Is it coming up a little bit? Um, the lacing is phenomenal. I'm really, really happy with the movement. Actually, I'm just really happy with my palette knives because they just, when you have the right tools, it just makes your life easier. Um, let me come up high on that guy. I'm sorry the colors aren't conveying. Maybe when, to, when I show the dried results, um, you'll be able to see them all better. But there's the big guy. And then here's the one I redid. And I love the movement of this one too. Um, especially like down here where the white has blended and made like a very light teal color um, for the lacing some other places too where the lacing is that teal shade really really pretty great great movement in that guy and then here's the first guy I forget how many bloopers are in this video but I'm just gonna leave them all in for a change <laughs> so not a morning person uh, and there's the last one love that one too I'm trying to figure out the orientation of that one but I just I think that one's gonna go like this but super happy with all three. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and don't mind putting up with me. Let me say goodbye. All right, that's it for me today. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the blue series. I actually have one more canvas I'm gonna dork around on. <clears throat> Maybe I'll film it, I don't know. I'm gonna play with some different designs other than that S shape. Um, maybe I'll throw the camera on, we'll see. And then I'm gonna take an afternoon nap. Cause like, look how bright my kitchen is cause it gets a ton of morning light. Um, but I'm tired. It's like 10.30 in the morning and I'm like done. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Anyway, back to night pouring in the next video for sure. Unless I do this. Anyway, uh, help me get to 50K. I'm at 49, so, so close. So please like, share, and subscribe. Um, thank you for all the comments. Keep them coming. I read everything. Uh, I love it, love it. It's a good way to uh, be able to chat back. And uh, you guys take care. Where am I looking? Yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace out. Hey guys, I'm back with the dried results of these three blue pieces. Uh, let's start with the 12 by 12 first. Three things I really love about this apart from the colors is one this whole area here just the way the colors have faded into each other it gives a really really cool 3d effect where it looks like it's raised hopefully that's showing up on camera um that to the composition i think is really really nice and three is um it's like a little hidden gem that only the owner would know about is this whole triangle right here this white area when you look at it in certain in a certain light you can see all the white on white cells and lacing all throughout this entire triangle um that part just makes me smile uh this is 12 by 12 so there's that one and then the little six by six guys they they everything dried perfectly is this one here I love the movement of this one I think this is my second favorite because it has more negative space um, again with the fade out of the white on white cells here and then um, I had taped the sides so it looks really I really like the clean edges of this with the white on blue so yeah that's definitely a favorite too and then I do like the third one because of the swoosh um, this one here which there's no denying the colors and the lacing in this guy. This one, I let the paint run over the sides on this one. Uh, there they be. They'll all go up uh, for sale on my website. And don't be surprised if you see another, where are they? Another blue video from me, larger. Maybe at least like an 18 by 24 or something with a big swoosh. So until then, y'all take care. See you soon.